blessings and shalom to everybody. I hope everybody having a good Sunday. I wasn't going to come on here to Monday, but I said I'm going to do a video. I'm going to head on my way over my family. You know, they finna, you know, they do the tailgating and whatever. I, don't, I ain't into sports. But you know what? God always making an open opportunity and an open door for me to be able to be around my family, speak, and, you know, enjoy my family because time is too precious at this hour. You know, not to enjoy your, friend, you know, family. And you know what? You never know when God is going to use you in a particular season, you know. And I get to, you know, step back and relax, you know, from all the warfare, all the fruit, the work, all that, you know. It's a time to just relax. That's why I said I like to go in steep mode and I like to go in consecration mode. The devil's not going to have me working thinking I'm supposed to do all this stuff that I ain't supposed to do and put this false burden on me. That's a lot of the problem. They got this false burden of thinking they obligated to people that don't care nothing about them. And you know what? And that's the slave mentality of Egypt. And you know, God sent me to the promised land, you know. And when he got, when I got, when he sent me, I, I achieved and conquered those giants. And I got to the promised land, you know. And it came through fierce warfare. It came through serious intercessory prayers. And you know, and that's what is going on right now with people. They, um, they don't even know when the devil has used people to try to stop them from their walk with God and see what he got them to do. And that's a distraction in the smoke screen. And he always told me about distractions and smoke screens and watch out for them. Because the devil's sneaking in and he's very conniving and sly at this hour. He'll use the least of the least to try to, you know, hurt you if you can. You know, because he don't like Jesus and he don't like you. He don't like you fail from that throne of grace. And when you are able to get where he at, he gonna despise you with perfect anger. You know, and I'm used to that. You know, I've been doing this since 2009 when I became saved and born again. I wasn't religiously going to church, just preaching and singing and clapping my hand and, you know, neighbor, touch your neighbor and say this and say all that stuff. I don't got time for that, God. Like I told God, when you ready to do what you need to do for your people, you know, we ready. You know, we ready. We on red. You know, a lot of us on red. We've been ready. Like I said, I used to do counseling, ministering, and intercessory, you know, you know, intercessory ministry, praying for people, you know, on Facebook, you know, but I got tired of that. Like I told God, I did what you told me to do when I came here. You know, you sent me back after I finished that to go back and encourage, which I come on there now and do. No matter what I'm doing in my day, I always have a way to speak, you know, to people because you never know. You, like I said before, what people going through. A lot of people put on these fake smiles and they got frowns. You know, they pretend to be happy every day and they living in misery and hell. You know, they wake up and they sleeping with the devil. They wake up living with the devil. They wake up, have to go to work and work with the devil. They wake up and they got to go to church with the devil and over the church. You know, I don't have time for that. Like I said, I'm coming on here and I'm about to rant, like I said, on my YouTube and Angelique Chronicles. You know, that's where you're going to catch me at. You're not going to catch me on Facebook. You're not going to do it. You know, because like God said, my gifts make room for me. And you know what? And they'll bring me in front of great men and women. And great men and women ain't going to be able to try to take advantage of God's child. They're not going to try to get a word a word from them and don't even sow into ministry. I have a ministry. That's why I said my page was my beginning of my ministry. You know, and every word that I gave, I birthed that word out. I had to go in, in, in prayer for that. That's why I say I prayed through till I got a breakthrough. I prayed through till I saw that man and met that man and he started talking to me. He said, those who really yearn for him shall see him. Those are the sons of God. Not everybody ain't no son and child of God. If that's the case, what happened to the, the devil right now? You know, he a child of the devil. He a child of himself. That spirit of selfishness and that spirit of entitlement. He thought he was entitled to be in Jesus' position as the Son of God. He's not entitled because God made you as a cherub, a beautiful cherubim angel, and you got it twisted like you think you're better than Jesus. You ain't better than Jesus. He showed you when he kicked yourself out, kicked his butt out of the heaven. You know, he's been wreaking havoc ever since he kicked himself out and kicked him out of heaven. And he, you know what, and if you represent Christ, you better represent and die for this for real because you're going to find have people that you know and love that's going to come against you. You are people that you break bread with just like Jesus did, like with Judas, they gonna come for you, you know? But you are you gonna be prepared and ready for that day when it happens? Are you gonna be able to deny Christ or you better be able to stand your ground and be able to know, I know, I know the man. 
you know, I'm about to serve him. I'm not about to serve people. I'm about to continue to do what God told me to do for us, you know, in ministry and helping people. You know, I'm not going to get discouraged by a few bad people. You know, you know, like he said, a little leaven leavens off the whole loaf of bread. You have a little bit of taintedness in your messages and stuff. It, never, it ain't holding weight, you know. My message is so weight. That's why I said I don't have to brag and boast. That's the devil. I'll leave him in. I'll let my proof speak for me. You know, I'll let that speak for me, you know, on there. You know, I don't need, I don't steal people's stuff. I don't have to. And everything that I put on my YouTube is going to be me talking. It's going to be some new, it's going to be some stuff, but it ain't going to be no new revelations because a lot of people took my stuff and they made, then they, uh, they published it and, made, and got money off of books. God revealed everything to me during the years. You know, he said, I told you to speak that. And you spoke it, but other people profited off of what you birthed out. And you know what? It was some warfare for that one. You know, it was some serious turning people, get turning people, turning on you. The devil don't care. It could be your mama, your daddy, your kids. It doesn't matter. Your husband, your wife, your baby daddy, your baby mama. You know, God, God is going to show you. Let them show you their hand, you know, and you act according to that. You know, and I'm never going to be, um, a crutch person where I need people and be codependent. Like I say, I am independent. God made sure I was independent after that marriage. You know, I had a marriage that failed. Yes, I'm not going to pretend and act like that marriage didn't fail. And I was on Facebook. Actually, when I got decided to go on Facebook back in 2009, I think I got married in 2008. All hell broke loose when I decided to give my life to Jesus for real, you know. And then God said that he would put enmity against you and your wife, husband, mama, daddy, kid, it don't matter and it happened, you know. But I wasn't finna deny Christ and I'm not finna live in a sin-filled life. And I know I ain't perfect. Like God said, we are to strive to be perfected in Christ and I'm perfected in Christ. I'm I'm accepted in the beloved. I'm. He said many are called, a few are chosen. I'm chosen by God. I'm not called. A lot of people have been called but they messed up and they didn't walk out that calling. They went on to a whole nother level and went into serving the devil and doing all kinds of stuff. When I got in this, I got in it for real. I didn't get out of it. I didn't stop off it. I ain't let up on it. If anything, I went hard in it for real. You know, it's me and Jesus against whatever. You know, he said, if you deny me, I deny you before you, my father. God, Jesus didn't have to worry about denying his I, that, that, that scripture stuck with me when he started talking and using me. I said, you ain't have to, um, you ain't have to worry about me. Because I'm, I'm riding this thing to the end. You know, me and you. If everybody turn on me, it's going to be me and you to the end. Like Chucky. You know, because then that's what I do. And you know what? That's why everybody can have an, the anointing on your life. But when that anointing lifts off, that's how it happened to Lucifer. He just the devil now. And that anointing, he lost his name as Lucifer. He just the devil. He just sneaky, snide, evil, and just as deceiving as he want to be. And you know what? And he already know his time is up. You know, and he's trying to take everybody with him as he can. And if he can take you, he's going to take you with him. He's going to have you tricking yourself, believing you serving God. And you got the devil all in you and serving you. And you serving and, 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 and loving on the devil. That's why I said, God showed me my husband was my husband. Like he said, showed that, that woman that came to the wheel. And you got seven husbands and ain't none of them was yours. And you know what? That's all he had to tell me. I don't care what man said with no certificate downtown or wherever these these places at. Because if God didn't put it together, it ain't of God. And it ain't going to be blessed. It's going to be cursed. You can't be blessed living with a cursed person. You can't be blessed when you can get with a cursed person. Your whole life, you're going to tell, whole, your whole life going to go to hell. It's going to be trouble, chaos, confusion, no unity, division. God is going to make sure of that because he ain't tell you to get in that stuff. You got into it because you wanted to do it. You know, you weren't led by the spirit of God. You was led by your flesh and your earthly sensual desires. And that would get a lot of people caught up. Just like it got um, Eve caught up with Adam. Instead of her being with her husband, her help me, Adam, she went off to doing her own little thing. It don't matter if she felt neglected or what. She supposed to be right there what she was supposed to be doing what God told her to do. It don't matter where if she saw Adam or not. You know, that's what problem with these church people. They don't know how to bring the word of God and then talk about it instead of hooping and hollering and all this singing and all this other stuff. I need to know about Jesus Christ, like I said, him crucified. Do you know Jesus, what Jesus did for you? Tell me your testimony. That's what you're going to know what Jesus did for me because I've been telling my testimony for years. You know, I'm here. I've supposed to have been dead three times. 
you know, somebody tried to stick us up one time walking. Just me and my husband just walking, taking a walk in the summertime. And, you know, this particular day, like the, I know I said, the God was always with me, you know. And that's why I say, he said, I always was with you from day one. I was with you before you was ordained, you know, a prophet to the nations. He knew I was with you. You know, he said, I remember that day. You know, remember when you was like, he was your husband, because I thought, because that's my husband, I'm supposed to listen to him, you know. But he said, I wanted to walk the one way. He said, no, let's walk up this street. And, you know, I was like, no, let's walk up this street. So I goes to walk up this street with him. And here I come. We walking by the sidewalk. And here come a guy pretending he talking to this other guy right where we walking by the sideway with a silver shiny gun to us. You know, thank God it doesn't matter because he was like, baby, run. You know, and I ran and I thought about it. You know, and he deterred them, you know, the man. And thank God that the other man wasn't with him. He was just a decoy. He told him when he, whoever came, he just happened to be the dummies that came. He listened to him, you know, came up the street. And, you know, I ran and I ran. His house was abandoned behind him. And all I could do is pray. I was like, God, you know, if that other guy would have been with me, with him, and he would have ran. To, he got, he had, to, he was trying to hit my, kick him, you know, because he said he ran to get them away from me. But. I ran and there wasn't nobody back there and it was a dog next door just a barking. If your dog barking and you know your, you got a dog and your dog don't bark and he ever did he knew I was on the other side of that fence. And you know, that's why I said God didn't have to show me too many encounters, you know, to know that he was real and he was with me. So I'm just praying and it was fall time. So I'm, I said, why am I stooped down under this tree? Ain't no leaves on this tree, ain't nothing under this tree. And you know, and I just prayed to God. I said, God, you know what? Just keep me and everybody. Some people that saw they ran in the house instead of, you know, and called the police. I'm glad I just had, you know, $30 in the iPod because that was a long time ago in my phone. You know, I had $30 on them. I would have gave them that money because ain't nothing worth my life. That could have all turned bad. That's why it's always you're supposed to be led by God, not people and men and going somewhere. If God tell you not to do something, it's for a reason. It's to keep you. A lot of people are not here today because they didn't listen to the voice of God. And they went off to doing something and wasn't even had a clarity to hear the voice of God. And that was one time the accident was one time and another time it was in a fight. So the girl was jealous of me because I always dressed nice and I always looked at nice. You know, growing up, I was about maybe 19 or 20. You know, and we was in a fight and she had brought off a knife out and she could have stabbed me in my heart, but God kept me. That's the first encounter. The second encounter was the... Um, the robbery and the third encounter was the, the accident I was in a car with somebody, you know, and I'm grateful, you know, God, I told God after that last time, I'm going to serve you all the days of my life, and I kept that word that I kept with him about serving him, you know, to the end, and you know, and I ain't going to get up on there, if everybody walk away, turn their back on me, you know, if you turn your back and walk away from me, you will never for me, you know, because God going to make sure that person that's for you is going to stick closer than a brother or a sister to you. You know, and you wait and you and you keep praying and continue to pray that God send you somebody that loves you for you and, you know, and want to be your friend, your best friend. That's the first thing you need to get. Have a best friend before you become into a relationship. That's why I say it. And if not, they're not worthy to be your best friend. They're not worthy to be your partner, period. You know, because your best friend is always going to be there for you and they're here to hear you. You know, and, not, and you know, always be there for you. And they're not going to have a jealousy, competition spirit against them. And you'll find that I always find myself being like that. Because I could be trying to be myself to people. And then they always boasting about what they got there. And, and this and this and that. I dress real nice. You see, I, I, I have a nice truck. I have a nice everything. You know, God blesses me because I'm a child of the king. So I'm going to be royalty, period. He taught me who I am. I don't need nobody talking about you beautiful. You this, you do that. He already told me who I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made because I'm made of, of, in his image. I know, and everybody say everybody ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. I bet you I might not be perfect, but I'm going to strive to make sure I show my confidence and my character as my my brother, Lord Jesus Christ, and my Father God in heaven. I'm going to represent well, you know, and I'm going to be, because I'm a royal a priesthood, you know, like he said, and I'm going to represent that. I'll never come up looking all kind of crazy ways. You ain't going to never catch me like that. I, I, that's the woman in me. I'm going to keep myself feminine, but when I need to be the warrior, I'm going to take all that feminine stuff out. Put my my camouflage army gear on, my boots, my sword, my sword of the spirit. You know, it's going to be flaming high with the consuming fire of God. That's God of Elijah for real. And I don't just got no regular sword. That's why I say I got to take God to, to you know, tame my mouth sometimes. 
you know, and that's why I know how to talk to people. He'll tame me to, sh you know, sometimes you just gotta keep your peace. And that's what I'll do, I'll keep my peace and keep it stabbing. You know, cause God, got, God is about to use, maybe do a mighty move at this last time. This is the end times. That's why I say I need to go reverse them for the people that have been following me through the years. This is the end times. You know, God, the, the devil knows God finna shut this bad boy down. That's why that COVID-19 came. And he, you know, because people ain't had no time. People doing them. You know, even now they, they, they trying to do the football and all that. They trying their best to be able to do these idols. I think it's Zeus and the Olympia God, all that stuff, you know, Baal and all that. I, I, um, I, I remember he gave me study and all that stuff. He don't have me into all that stuff. He don't get me into the news and stuff. If I hear about it, I hear about it. Because I need to keep my, 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 my vision 2020 on what he needs to be talking and showing me. I don't need to know about what the devil trying to do on the news to try to make people think and give a spirit of fear on me. I don't got a spirit of fear. I'm a, I, I got a Caleb spirit. That's the spirit of the dog. You know, and I don't like to bring that, that dog woof woof out of me. Let me be pristine and, and feminine and modest. Let me be my proper 31. You know, God tell you, you know, you ready for me to war against this devil or whoever that he uses that got the devil in. You know, and I do it well, well, you know. I'm a prophetic woman. The war prophetic means by nature. I'm prophetic by nature. When I'm talking, it's prophetic. Because God has showed me I had a prophetic call on my life, you know. And I'm definitely a woman of God. That's what his first name he told me I was. He let me know my, who I was, or no matter what the devil was trying to make me think. That was the first page that he started, that woman of God page. A w, it was a... a W-O-G, that's what it is. And, I didn't, and then I put the word on there. Facebook blocked all them. I done had 13 pages since then. You know, I thank God that the last pages is still there, but all that revelation and remember word, you know, that he gave me from years ago, it was on those pages, and the devil knew it. You know, don't get this thing twisted with you in. This thing is the evil, and then don't make it no other thing. You in this world, but not of this world. And that's what I had to know. So I, when people come for me or come after me and try to treat me bad, I already know why. They hated you. He, he, he said they hated me. They gonna hate you too. So that's how I did. You ain't better than the, the slave ain't better than the master. I already know that. So I'm gonna continue to continue to be me. You know, all I can do is be authentically Angelique. I don't know how to put on Jones ears and all that crazy stuff. I just want to be me. People want to put a pretend a, a, a happy life, a happy wife, a happy life, a happy husband. No, you got a hell life, you got a hell life, and I'm about, not about to pretend that I'm up here being happy, and I know I'm living in hell every day. I ain't never got no peace when I wake up. I ain't never got no unity in my space. No, it's time for something to change in my life. If I see that, God let me know that back in that marriage, and I, and I have peace now, and you know, I have joy, and I have happiness. This illuminates for me. My aura has it. And I, and I like to shine that light and shine that love on God's folks. I like to love on people, you know, and meet people where they at. Like I said, I shed at, sat at that river shape bar with people on Facebook a lot. Didn't want to a lot of times. God made it put over me to have a heart like he is, a heart for his people. And, you know, and I'm going to continue to keep that heart of God, you know, and I'm going to continue to be good to people. Even when they bad to me, I'll be good to them until God tell me, you leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to continue to move, you know, into what God told me to do, you know. And then what God tells you to do something, it's always going to have a prosperous fruit, you know, a prosperous fruit to it. And it's going to come into fruition with something. And you know what? I want everybody to have a good day because I'm at this drive through trying to get some chicken. But the thing, I don't come, I'm, not, I'm never a freeloader. I'm always bringing something with me when I'm invited to something. That ain't my nature. I don't have that nature of the devil. I got a giving heart. I give you my last if I ain't really need it. And you need it and it was something important that you needed for. You know, it ain't about me. It's about me being the, letting people see the Christ in me. That I love people and I love them to life. And you know, and I, I hope God continue to speak a word that I'm able to breathe life into them Ezekiel 37 bones. That they'll, they'll get up and get meat on them, strong meat. That they'll be able to do what God told them to do. But you know what? Have a good, have a good Sunday, and God bless you and continue to keep you. Bye bye.